Welcome back to Let's Play Tomba. This is 480 Bolts. We took care of another one of the evil pigs. I think it's time we talk to this big bulky dude right here. Hey, guy, what's up? Uh, talk to me. Ah! Go away! Please! Huh? Oh, you're not one of the Massacari? Phew, what a relief. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I came from the clock tower that's in the village of civilization up ahead. My hat was blown away and I landed somewhere around here. I just saw a weird looking monkey with it, but I'm too scared to chase him. What with the Massacari and all. A monkey, huh? Say, if you see a strange monkey with striped pants on, do you think you can get my hat back from him? A strange monkey with striped... So Charles, basically. And I like the event just right ahead says, Yeah, find Charles. We know it's Charles. Uh, does he say anything else? Oh, uh, no, all that. And when he says Massacari, he means those blue... In, in the, uh... The blue dudes. The jungle dudes. Alright, um, ride these things down. Be careful not to let them, uh carry you into the spikes. Here, I'll show you what happens when you hit these spikes. It's annoying. Thanks to Sprite Flicker, you only take one hit, but it does two bars of damage, and you're pushed all the way back here, so yeah, don't do that. We jump down here. We take care of this guy. We gotta hit him again. It sticks in my mind. There's, uh... Stuff up here. Yeah, some uh, bananas. Excellent. Uh, why do we need bananas? Is Charles hungry again? Oh, come on. That's annoying. There we go. Hey there, Charles! Well, he doesn't seem to want to talk to us, so you know what? Screw him. I'm just gonna go. Whoa! If you jump on the bridge, the bridge just falls over. Oh, you can't swim? Oh, what are you gonna do? I guess I could teach you how to swim, but... Oh, no, more bananas. I'm kind of tired of them, but I'm really thirsty. Do you have anything to drink? A refreshing drink. So you're not even going to teach me how to swim unless I give you some bananas. Oh, by the way, I found this hat near the entrance to the village of civilization. If you're going there, will you return it to its owner for me? I'm sure whoever lost it is looking for it. We got the miner's hat. Excellent. Uh, b -b -b <laughs> This is annoying. There we go. Now, oh, I saw a butterfly. Try to collect as many of those as I can. Now, to uh, get across here, you wanna... You can't... You can't take the other... You can't... Blah, blah, blah. You can't really get across that easily. Yeah, see, in the backgrounds, you can't get across to that side. You have to, uh, you have to cross over here by jumping across these. You may want to whip out your parasol just in case. And then climb up this sucker here. Give him the miner's hat. And that should take care of the problem. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Hey, if you like, why don't you stop by our clock tower? You probably won't be able to enter the factory in the Iron Castle. But you can enter the clock tower anytime you like. Excellent. We cleared out fine Charles. Well, uh, sure, let's check out the Village of Civilization. What I really like about the Village of Civilization, it consists of four areas, and they all have this music, but they're different themes of this music. So, like, this here, we got the Iron Castle in front of me, the clock tower to the right, and the Lumberjack Factory to the left. I can't even... Yeah, I can't go to either one of them. And this, yeah. I don't really need to say. I love this music. But I like the other themes of it as well. Like, for instance, the clock tower that we're about to hear. And, and there's the clock tower. Nice clock tower. And there's the guy. Hey, guy. Hey, it's you again. Well, what do you think of the clock tower? Looks fabulous, doesn't it? It's called the Village of Civilization, and it's famous for the clock tower, iron castle, and factory here. Yeah, because that's pretty much all there is here. What kind of civilization is it anyway if all the machines don't work? 
Oh, by the way, thanks to you, my favorite hat's been returned. Thank you very much. Hey, why don't you try some juice I just made? It's pretty good, right? Some juice? You mean like banana juice? I'm afraid I don't have any bananas right now. You see, bananas grow in the jungle. The jungle is where the massive car I live, and... Well, you get the picture. Yeah, you're a big wimp. This little kid with pink hair can outdo you. Anyway, apparently the clock tower doesn't work very well. I guess it got struck by lightning back in the day in 1955, and it hasn't worked since. Anyway, let's give him the bananas. What? You went and got these for me? Wait one minute, okay? You squeeze them like this, you see? Real tight. Squeeze! Is that what you call it? Because it looks like you're milking a cow or a kangaroo. Phew! There you go. We got some banana juice. Excellent. My juice is pretty popular among these parts. Drink up! Uh, I would, but, uh, nah. I'll go, uh, I'll go, uh, give it to Charles. Maybe he'll teach me how to swim. Oh, that music's catchy. It'll get stuck in your head. All right, now we gotta go find Charles again and give him the banana juice. I, 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 I talk like I'm aggravated, but the, the fact of the matter is, this is my favorite aspect of the game, is the trading off. It's like... Every single part, like every person you encounter in this game has something you need. And if you have what they need, they can give you something that somebody else needs. And eventually you'll you'll hit that magical person that has what you need. And um you know, and then they'll give you what you need. All right, let's give him the banana juice. Wow, that's banana juice. Thanks. I'll enjoy it later. Oh. So, it wasn't like I'm too thirsty to teach you how to swim. Now I'll teach you how to swim. Are you ready? Whenever you feel ready, just jump into the river over there. Okay. So it's not like, oh, I'm so thirsty I can't teach you how to swim. Because he's like, oh, I'll drink it later. Right now let me teach you how to swim. So it's like, it, he really boiled down to, I'm, I won't help you unless you help me. You scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. Thanks, Charles, thanks. Anyway, when you're ready to swim, you jump in the water. Boy, am I ready to swim. I've been ready to swim since day one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, can you hear me? Calm down! Stop flopping around so much! That's what makes you drown! See, when you're calm, you can float. Be careful! Now, without flopping about too much, press the... square button while pressing the directional button. Yeah, he's gonna... yeah, okay. By the way, the left side of the river leads to a waterfall, so don't go that way! Yeah, what he said is true. It's actually an instant game over. Well, it's not a game over, but it's... you'll die. It's a long way down! Okay, it looks like you got the hang of it. Come and jump to this ladder over here. I'm surprised you mastered how to swim so fast. No, we cleared I can't swim. Excellent. And, uh... Charles is gone. We'll never see him again. I'm serious. I think that's the last we see of him. But yeah, you can, uh, you can swim around like so. So, like, you're pressing the directional button, and he moves, and if you press the square button, you kind of paddle faster. So there you go. And I could go up here, but I'll save that for later. Right now, let's, um, let's go back to the, um, village of civilization. Ow. I hate those guys. I think I want to go back to the village of civilization. Unless there is something I need to grab over in that other area. Uh, well, let's just start. Let's just start by going to the village of civilization and see what happens. Do 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 do. Because I think once you've learned how to swim, um, you want to go back and talk to this guy. 
Hey, oh, he's not here. I forgot. I have to go up one more level. Hey, bud. How was it? The juice out there was pretty good, right? What did you say? You went swimming in the Massacara River? That river is famous for its fast current. I don't know anyone that swam across it. Say, do you think someone as courageous as you could do me a favor? Well, I have a feeling I have no choice in the matter. You probably already noticed that the clock on the tower has stopped. To get the cogwheels moving again, we need to get the machine to work. Unfortunately, there's all kinds of problems. Maybe you can go see for yourself. I'll make sure you can pass through the factory and the Iron Castle as you please. All right. We need power. Anything else? Okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up. All right. Let's drop down here. All right. Now we can go to the other places. So, uh, uh, which, uh, which way should I go first? I know which way I'll go first. I'll go to the Iron Castle first. Which has my favorite rendition of this theme. Because it's got, the clock tower's close. But I like this because it's all, uh, sort of mechanicalized. That's a cool design right there. That's a big old door right there. I wonder how you get in. Hey, guy. Oh, man. The Iron Castle looks totally helpless now. Jeez. Oh, huh? You've been eavesdropping, haven't you? If you don't want people to hear what you're saying, then don't freaking talk to yourself. What? I believe the machine room is beyond the door. And as you can see, it's impossible to open. It's been left untouched for such a long time. Even the generator inside came to a stop. Just look at this mess. It makes the entire village bad. Break the rusty door. I don't think he's going to say anything worth... Yeah, okay. Shut up, shut up. All right. Let's explore here. Okay. Big AP coin. I will take that. How many lives do I have? I don't think you can tell me how many I have. I have a bunch. And some fruits. Sure, I'll take them. Yeah, there's really nothing here. Except a big old rusty door that apparently will not open. So uh, let's get out of here. Dead end here. Yeah, you think... He says, I think it rusted because nobody's been in there for so long. Uh, well, you know, maybe if y'all people did maintenance in there every once in a while, your freaking clock tower wouldn't quit working. You guys can't do anything right. You have big burly dudes who are afraid to go into the jungle. Uh, and you got maintenance guys who don't know how to do maintenance. Hey, this kind of right here kind of looks like uh, that set of wheels we saw in that garage over um, in the village of all beginnings the uh, the the flattened out deflated car and that right there is a bonsugi hey there it took a lot of work to find this bonsugi I've been studying the mushroom forest for a long time and I found something very interesting do you want to know what it is no well why don't you stay for a minute and listen have you ever heard of the flower tears you can get them from the flowers in the mushroom forest but you need the special bottle. I found out that if you can get this bottle from the yellow Bonsugi, he used to live in the mushroom forest a long time ago. Now that the evil pigs have cast a spell on the forest, you might be able to get the bottle if you break the spell. Oh, okay, so I need a tear bottle. Oh, and one more thing. There's only one flower in the mushroom forest that sheds tears. It's the one that hasn't bloomed. I think I saw that flower. The rise and shine powder that the other Bonsugis have will make it bloom. Well, I already got the Rise and Shine powder. Let's talk to this guy. Hmm. Oh, the Iron Castle door. That door is so old, it probably won't open unless you blow it up with a bomb or something. A bomb? I need a bomb. Bombs? You want me to make a bomb? Tell me it's mine, my friend. Ha 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 ha. What a gullible little fellow you are. 
I was just joking. Oh, well, what the heck? I guess no one has gone to such lengths to try and open the door. Come to think of it, I do have a bomb. Oh yeah, you just now remembered. I made it a long time ago, but it's dangerous and I didn't have any use for it. So I hid it in the jungle in the highest tree. It looks like a coconut, but actually it's a really powerful bomb. Even that iron door wouldn't be able to hold up against this bomb. But be real careful though. So you have no use for it, but you went ahead and made it anyway. You got issues, dude. You're like uh, a pyromaniac of a sort. And some charity weeks, that's it. There's nothing else here. Bombs, lamp oil, rope. It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rupees. Sorry, I had to do it. Come back when you're a little uh, richer. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's climb up this thing here. So, th this, by the way, is the highest tree in the Masakari jungle. And I kind of went ahead and got the bomb without really meaning to, because I wanted you to at least see what it looked like. But okay. I'll just take that leaf butterfly. I find... Okay, well... I'll show you in a minute. I find this interesting. There's no need to bring this here, but if you talk to this... Now that we've gotten the bomb, if you talk to this guy... Hey, hey, hey! Don't bring that thing in here! <laughs> I just find that interesting. I find that amusing. Uh, for whatever reason. Alright, anyway, now that we got a bomb, let's see if we can use it on the door. Because, as everybody knows, if you have a machine that is not working, the logical thing to do is to take the most explosive device you can and BLOW CRAP UP! That's gonna make things a whole lot better. Oh, he's still on that. Okay, never mind. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Alright, let's, uh, let's use the bomb. And he runs and scatters, and Tomba runs out of there. Whoa! Did it work? We don't even get to see the explosion. At least give me a big orange blob with a little text on there that says bomb. Break the rusty door! Clear! I am having so much fun with this game. Alright, I am not controlling Tomba right now. He's doing his own thing. Didn't know Tomba was a mechanic. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What does the watchtower have to do with anything? Back up, back up! Hey, guys. Well, I sure do owe you a favor. Say, I hear that you're traveling in search of the evil pigs. Wait right here, okay? I've heard that a 10,000 year old man who lives on the, near the large pool at the top of the waterfall knows all about the evil pigs. Why don't you pay him a visit? You'll need to go through the village of all beginnings to get to the top of the waterfall. The detour is a pain in the neck. Well, good luck. The 10,000 year old man. Yeah, I've heard about him. The door to the old pond is locked. Here, take this. It's the key to the door at the old pond. Key to old pond acquired. Ride the raft. Ride the raft from the hill with the old tree to return to the haunted mansion. I'll leave the raft at the factory so you can go ahead and take it. Let's ride the raft. Excellent. Uh, these guys don't say anything else, but there you go. Sweet, all in a day's work. Now that clock better be working. This is yet another thing that I like about this game is all the different areas are connected in some way. Like, apparently this big clock and the whole machine powering it has something to do with the watchtower. That's rather interesting. Hey, guy, what's up? Listen, I just came back from the village of all beginnings. While I was there, I saw her. The witch. The witch? I heard something about a witch. Her name is Mizuno. And, well, she's really cute. Oh, I wish I could see her again. The cute witch. What if she's like really freaking ugly and she cast like a spell on you, like a love spell? You need to get your head out of the clouds, man. You're thinking with the wrong head is what it is. 
<sighs> Falling in love with a witch. Hey, guy. Wow, I can't believe you got the machine to work. Thanks to you, the clock towers come back to life. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't go in the room of the cogwheels. There are giant gears in there, but it's very dangerous. And he's telling the truth. You can't, uh, you can't, uh, yeah, he's blocking you. You can't get up there. You'll never, ever be able to get up there ever again. Which is fine. There was nothing I, I ever needed there. All right, now let's, uh, apparently there's a raft waiting for us at the Lumberjack Factory, so let me go ahead and get that and, uh, see what we can see. All in a day's work. We're doing good. Oh, look at this guy. Up we go! Oh, that's neat. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Is that made from a pig skin? Aw! I guess it just won't work with normal water. I must need that stuff to make a fuel bar. Food for fuel. Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize you were listening. Yeah, everybody talks to themselves around here. This is called the go-go car. To make a move, I need a fuel bar. The problem is I can't find the ingredient that's needed to make a fuel bar. All I need is a little bit of wine. A bucket full should be enough to finish the motocross course. Wine, huh? Well, Box Village said something about making wine. All right, now I got the raft. I'll deal with that in a minute. Let's talk to this dude. Hello, Tomba, right? I hear that thanks to you, our power station's working again. You're amazing. Oh, maybe you'll find this useful. A long time ago, my grandpa told me that there's an elevator near some kind of watchtower in the dwarf forest. The elevator is supposed to take you underground. An elevator? What's under the forest? Well, I'll have to check that out. Oh, ma uh, okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. Well, maybe that had something to do with the, uh, you know, the uh, power station turning on. So, uh, I'll have to check that out. That kind of looked like an elevator. Yeah, we're starting to get to where the game starts to get really good, so... Yeah, this is this is where I really start having fun with the game. All right, one more thing. I am going to head back to the um, to uh, the river and explore that other section that I didn't mess with the first time. Screw you! Woo! And like I said, you don't want to go left because there's an endless pit there. And there's a waterfall here, which we can't mess with. But if we go here... Yeah, now we can finally swim. Alright, uh, this here is Old Tree Hill. Save data, no. I am going to avoid stepping on that pump rock, just because. Um, I'll step on these two. Oh, well, uh, knowledge fruit acquired. Really? Knowledge fruit. Does that mean, like, this is the tree of knowledge? That's a big tree right there. Hey, guy, what's up? It's a little parrot. Ow! What do you think you're doing, young man? Why did you bite me? What? Wait a second. Oh, okay, got it. I'll ask him. I can't do a parrot voice very well. The old tree says he's not angry. He just has one small favor to ask. Why would the tree be angry? You're the one that got bit. As you can see, the old tree is, well, old. He can't suck up enough nutrients from the ground on his own anymore. That's why he's getting weaker day by day. But there is one way to get this old tree can be healthy again. Pump rocks lie all across this continent. These rocks actually have water with lots of nutrients inside of them. If you step on all of these rocks and push them into the ground, the nutrients will seep into the soil and the old tree will be better again. The pump rocks. Now, if you've been following me, hopefully I have stepped on every last one of them, except for this one that I passed up. So, uh, let's hope that I did. Uh-oh. Did I get them all? No, I must have missed one. Well, that bites, because I'm gonna have to go find it. Uh... Oh, we can't just have nice things. Where would there be another pump rock? There was two in the lava caves. I know that much, and I got those two. Oh, I hate it when the game does this to me. I always try to get those out. 
first thing, but then I always miss like one or two. That's probably somewhere really obvious. Alright, well before I end off the video, because I'm gonna end off the video, let's uh if you jump down on this ledge here and use your raft. Use the raft! Let's ride the raft! Clear! And this is gonna take us to 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 the haunted mansion, the not so haunted mansion. Wow, look at this place. Goodness gracious. And I could explore. Uh, this is a nice looking mansion. I think there's still a few of the fly traps around, but all the scary birds are gone, so that's nice. Um, I'll fully explore this some other time. I just realized there might be. I might know where that last pump rock is. <clears throat> I think it might be here in the mushroom forest and not in the background. I think there might actually be one or two in the foregrounds. But let me just, to be sure, let me just make sure I step on these. Uh -huh. You'll know it when you've gotten all of them because you'll just, you'll clear the event, the pump rocks. I think. I think. Let's go ahead and put on our parasol just to be on the safe side. Let's try to avoid getting hit by um, uh, by anything. Oh, a healing mushroom, I'll take that. What's that right there? Charity wings? I really don't care about charity wings! Uh, Alright, hang on a minute. I'm going to see if there's any pump rocks in this entire area. Okay, apparently I missed one here in Stormy Mountain. So, um... That just messes with my OCD. Not really OCD, but uh, my chance to be slick and have gotten them all ahead of time. You know, I missed one. I always do. Um, I have gotten them all before I even talked to that stupid bird, but that only ever happened once. I'm always going to miss one. Anyway, it's this one right here. And we cleared the pump rocks. Now, since there's no real easy way of getting back to the jungle, except by using the phoenix again, which, by the way, you can ride the phoenix as many times as you want to get to the jungle. I didn't want the parasol. Now I gotta take the parasol off. Where's that stupid... Charity Wings. I'll use Charity Wings. Deep Jungle, Old Tree Hill. I'm totally cool with using Charity Wings, too, by the way. I've got plenty of them. And there'll come a point when I will never need them ever again. I'll have unlimited Charity Wings. Alright, now let's talk to the bird, and then we'll be done. Looks like you stepped on all the pump rocks. It must have been hard work. But thanks to you, the old tree is back in shape again. Hmm, I agree. Got it. This is a message from the old Gramps here. This old tree knows so much that people call him the Tree of Knowledge. He says that in the future, if there's ever anything you want to ask him, you just come right back here to see him. Alright then, Tree of Knowledge knows. That's uh, always gonna say, um, excellent. Well, if he's the tree of knowledge, then that fruit I got must be the fruit of knowledge, and I need to give that to um, the doctor over at uh, Doctor Dwarf over at uh, Dwarf Village. I'll do that some other time. We'll head back to the not so haunted mansion like I had planned originally, and we'll do some exploring in this place in the next video. Until then, I am 480 volts. See you later.